Hi, this is Aditya and welcome to Shankam Mark Tech channel. In this video, I am going to explain first the basic authoring concepts like how can you add a particular component onto the page and how can we configure that particular component using AEM dialog boxes. And then I will move on to the development concepts and I will explain how we can add our own dialog box on our custom component. This video is part of AEM tutorials for beginners playlist the link for which I'll give it out in the description box. Please check it out if you are interested. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Let's get started with the presentation. Okay, in our previous uh, video, what I have explained is uh, how to open this particular page and uh, in the in the editor mode. Uh, and I have also shown how to actually add a component onto the page. So let's do it again. So let's add a component. Uh, so if you just click on this plus icon. So you can see the list of all the components here. So let us suppose I want to add a button component. So I just click on this button component and that particular component gets added. So if you see here, this is my button component. So once you click on that particular component, you see here something called as this uh, configure button. Okay, the icon uh, which is some wrench icon, right? So this is called as configure button. Okay, so when you click on this configure button, what opens is the dialog box. So this is called as the dialog box. Okay, so this AEM dialog box, we use this to configure that particular button. Okay, so how do we configure it? We can add some text here. Okay, so if you see here, the button do not have any text. You just have some background, but it doesn't have any text there. So now you can add some text here. So you can say maybe learn more. Okay, so then you can just give the link so when you click on this right uh, your site opens so you can give any reference to your internal uh, pages so maybe i can click on this my account okay so then uh, i can just uh, click on done okay so this is how the button is appearing now it's just appearing as a link okay so this is how you configure so whatever you have entered the text here learn more that text got uh, copied over here okay if you want to uh, change this name my accounts okay you just have to change the text and done and now this my accounts text got changed okay so this is how you will edit the page so if if am is not there right so then what happens is all this text and everything will go as part of the html and then any change to the text button text or something which you need to do you will have to depend on the developers to make that change Okay, so if we have to see the HTML of it, right, I can just inspect this page. Okay, so this is the HTML version of it. Okay, so this is how it looks like. The text we enter, right, this is how we give it, uh, the developers give the name of that particular button. But if it is fixed like this in the HTML, then authors will not be able to edit it themselves. They always need to rely upon developers to make any simple change like changing the button text also. So that is that problem aim is solving by using this dialog box. So they are asking you can just select your component and click on this, open the dialog box and enter whatever text you want and you can change the references also, uh, click off that what uh, to which page it needs to go, that also you can change and once it is uh, done, you click on done and that's it. Okay, so uh, let's try to add one more component and see. Okay, so if I click on plus again, if I want to let us suppose add accordion and now let's suppose I want to configure this accordion okay so the first thing is I need to know what is accordion right so unless I know what is accordion I don't know how to configure it and what exactly this particular component will be doing okay so to in order to know uh, what are these components right so you can go to this particular page okay so this url i'll give it out in the description box okay so these are all the core components core components are like the components which aem has given already to us they are out of the box okay so we can use them for authoring purposes okay so now uh, what you if you go to the components and if you click on the accordion here they will give you the usage okay so what exactly that component does okay so and also they will give the version compatibility here okay in which all versions it is available like am 6.5 is available 6.4 it is available like that and if if you are a developer and if you need more the technical details 
you can go to that developer documentation also okay and if you scroll down here they will explain you also like how exactly you need to configure this particular dialog box so either you are an author or developer what you need to do is you need to come on to this page go through each and every component and see what is it you its usage and how exactly in which scenario you need to use this particular component and how exactly you can use the uh, dialog box to author it okay so this is the one go to page or one go to link uh, for you uh, to learn everything about the am core components and how to author it okay so let's come back to this page so if i just click on the configure so here are the items so this is called as multi-valued field now you can click on this add button and add as many fields as you want here dynamically so if we see in our earlier example this button example right so this is a text field right this is just a plain text okay and if you see here this is a link okay you are able to open the browser open it and then link other pages here okay um, so like this there are multiple varieties of the fields okay so the point which i am trying to make is it's not always text okay it could be text it could be a, a browser uh, field like this okay on the dialog box or it could be a multi valued field like this okay so you need to understand what is the type of this field like what is what exactly we, we are entering here okay so now if i click on the add button okay as part of this items right I can add any of the item here okay so let us suppose I want to add a container okay so I'll just click on this container and I'll just give an item 3 here okay and I will click on done then a new item gets added which is item 3 here now to actually configure this particular component like if we if we want to add any of the item in items 1 if I want to add any of the content okay so these item 1 item 2 item 3 these are just like tabs okay so when you click on this item one this uh, body will open okay and if you again click on it it will just close so these are all collapsible tabs uh, and it will just on click open and uh, on again click it will close so this is called as accordion component so if we have to author this particular accordion component so then if i want to add some content let us suppose in inside this item one uh, tab then how will i do it so i'll just click on this i'll open this configure button I open this dialog box and then I'll go to the properties and I'll say single item expansion. I'll check this uh, one and I'll select this expanded item and done. Okay, so then this item one is expanding. So now what I'll do is I'll select this uh, uh, this container which is layout container and I can add any component here. So let me add a text component here. Okay, so then I will just uh, edit this text component and I'll try to add some text hi this is Aditya okay I'll add this text and uh, let and let me save this okay so now if I go to this uh, page the, in the publish uh, mode and then if I just refresh this so you can see this item 1 has expanded and you see hi this is Aditya and if you click on item 2 then item 1 will collapse and item 2 will open since there is no content here it's not showing up anything but ideally if there is any content we have added then you, if you click on it then it will just open like this so this component is called as accordion component okay similarly if we want to add uh, uh, something in item 2 so then i will just open it i'll go to the properties i will say container 2 instead and i'll say done so now it will open the container 2 for me okay in the item 2 it will open it will expand it now i'll get this selection to select this particular component container and then just add something here maybe i'll add image here okay so then i'll just drag this uh, i'll i'll just open the dialog box of this image and then i will just add this drag and drop this particular asset here okay so this is how you author the image component and you click on done okay so now that image comes up here okay so now if i go to my page in the publish mode and if i just refresh this page you see something like this so now item 2 is expanded so if i click on item 1 now item 2 gets collapsed and hi this is aditya 
and if item 2 gets clicked on then that gets collapsed and this comes out okay so this is how you configure the accordion button so till now we have seen the authoring part now what we will see is we will go to the development part like if we have to add this particular dialog box on the component which we have developed then how do we do it okay so this dialog box if we have to add it on the component which is developed by us then how do we get this dialog box that's what we are going to see now so this is the sample component which we have added in our previous video so here uh, we have just given hello world so if i just go to the code of this i need to go to the crxde so then i will be able to go to the code of it so or else i can just go here and go to the development mode here so i'll just click on this go to developer mode okay so then we'll be able to see the reference here as to where exactly this component is so if i just click on this so then that component will open so if i just come down so this is the component okay so if i just uh, uh, click on this one okay you will see the path exact path where exactly it is okay so i'll just copy this and i will go on to this uh, crxd okay i'll just select crxd and i'll just find for this particular path okay so now this is our component which we have added now this is the content path okay so this is how as, as i told sling is understanding where exactly our component is okay so first it will search for this content page okay so it will search for this content page this url content weekend us en so content weekend us en inside that you are in this training component okay so now it got to this particular point and from here it will see what is the sling resource type okay then it will copy this and then it will search for the apps it will try to search this particular component in apps uh, folder okay so this is how it will search and the apps will open okay so this is where the actual code is okay so this is where we have given this hello world okay so if we have to test it i'll just remove this w save it okay and if i just refresh this one that change should reflect here okay now if you see that change got reflected so that is the component now i am i know that that is the component now okay so now what i need to do is i need to add the dialog box for that particular component okay so but before that let me remove uh, these components which i have added here okay so now this is our component which we are dealing with okay so now if you see here i have already added this cq dialog so this is how you add a dialog box to the component okay so let me just delete this dialog box once and show it to you so if i just deleted this dialog box and if i just refresh this page now if you see you will not be able to select this component okay you will not be able to select it anymore it's because the cq dialog box is missing okay so uh, and if you want to add it also you will not be able to see that particular component in this list of uh, new uh, components okay you cannot insert that component because you will not be able to see it so this also i covered in my previous videos only so unless and until you have the cq dialog you will not be able to either see it in this components list or be able to edit also that particular component so now to make it editable okay we will add that cq dialog okay so now let's see how we can add a dialog box onto this particular component okay so to add a dialog box what we generally do is we refer to the core components and see how exactly they have added it and uh, then we try to copy paste uh, the same thing okay so uh, this is the training component and if you see my component right it almost looks like a title component because it is nothing but a h1 title right so what i'll do is i'll go to the core components so i can just go to apps uh, and then core okay inside that i'll have wcm and components right inside this components list i will go to title component and in this title component i will go to the latest uh, uh, version and i just open that title node okay so now if you see here there is a cq dialog box so what i'll do is i'll just copy this dialog box and then i'll come over here 
I'll select this particular node and I'll paste it here. Okay, so just by pasting it and saving it, so all those node structure, whatever is there here, the same thing will get copy pasted over here. So this will drastically reduce our effort actually. Otherwise, we'll have to manually create all these things, which is a painful task. Okay, so instead of doing that, we can just copy paste it. Now let's try to refresh our page and see if the dialog box got added. Now if I select this component, you will be able to see this configure button again. Okay, so now if I click on this configure button, so my title, whatever uh, I have copied from the title component, right, the same thing got copied over here. Okay, so till this point we are successful. But uh, here I don't need this title and uh, this type size and link. I just need one text box uh, which says hello world and I just wanted to give hello world text. So how, how can we change this dialog box now? Okay, so for that what we'll try to do is we'll first try to understand uh, what exactly has been done here. Okay, so if I go to the CQ dialog box, right? And if I see the properties here, so we can see the sling resource type property. So it is CQ, GUI, components, authoring and dialog. Okay, so all these components uh, uh, on this particular dialog box, right? All these fields, whatever we are adding, these are called as Granite UI fields. Okay, so you can go to this particular uh, section, Granite UI, uh, this particular link, wherein you will see all the components uh, which you can author as part of this dialog box. Okay, so what all you can do as part of this dialog box, uh, you will be able to see it here. Okay, so everything which is part of this forms, right? All these uh, uh, fields you can add. Okay, so for now, if you see here, <clears throat> this is just a text field. Okay, but if you see here, this is a drop down, right? How do you add the drop down? So you, you have to just go to this particular page and you will have to refer uh, all this, like you have something called a select. Okay, so you, you just have to see how to add this particular select box onto this particular dialog box. So let's try to understand how exactly this dialog box is appearing here. Okay, so if we see, if we go back uh, here to our code, so this is the CQ dialog box we have entered, right? CQ dialog. Okay, so here we, get, we have given sling resource type and we have given the resource type as authoring dialog. So this resource is a granite UI resource which Adobe has already coded it. Okay, so and just by giving this resource type, what happens is a outer box, whatever you are seeing for this dialog box, that will get appeared. Okay, so uh, now Adobe knows that uh, this is a dialog box just by giving this resource type. And it also understands whatever is there as part of this CQ dialog is going as a content as part of this dialog box. So that also it understands. Okay, so if we select the content, right? So here what we are saying is sling resource type container. Okay, container, what does it do? As it name suggests, it contains the elements, whatever is added into it. Okay, so it's just a container. Okay, uh, it's, it's a kind of box into which you can add, uh, put one by one element, stack one by one element. Okay, so first you have added the dialog, which is the outer and you have added a container into the dialog so that you can add more elements to it. Okay, so that's what you are telling here. Then you have add this items tab. So this is just for grouping. Okay, so you have uh, uh, tabs here. So uh, instead of one tab, if I have another tab, then all those tabs can be grouped as part of these items. Okay, it's just a, a node to group uh, particular uh, items. Then you have added these tabs. Now what is this tab? So if I select these tabs, Okay, so this has another sling resource type, which is Granite UI Components Foundation Tabs. So now here you have something called as tabs. Now under these tabs, uh, so what is the tab name you have? This is the tab, one of the tab. Okay, this is properties. Okay, so now uh, you have the title for these properties, but you just have one tab. Since you just have one tab, okay, so that, that uh, tab does not appear here. But if you want to see what is this tab and how does it work, you can actually add the button component, let us suppose. And then you can just go to this dialog box. And here you see two tabs. One is properties and accessibilities, right? So if you go to the core components, okay, here, 
and if you see here uh, in, in the button and if I open the dialog box in I come into the tabs and here in the tabs see there are two tabs one is properties and another is accessibilities okay so if you just click on these properties now you see this title properties okay that title appeared here and now if you click on this accessibility so this is the title accessibility so that title came up here so this is the tabs functionality uh, but if you just have one tab like in our case then it won't show okay so now we have added the tabs okay under the tabs we have added one tab which is properties okay so under the properties so we add something called as columns so what is this columns okay so uh, to understand what is this columns you can go into this granite ui page okay so here in this uh, this link also i'll give it out in the description so whatever you see here on the dialog box are nothing but this uh, granite ui components as i told these are all uh, defined by the AEM okay so if you see here if you go to the columns the, what is the sling resource type for it it is granite UI components Corel foundation fixed columns right so all you need to do is you have to just see what is this fixed columns okay in this granite UI so if you search for this fixed columns so and if you open this fixed columns page so here you will get the actual resource type so this is the resource type for the fixed UI column and if you just go back to our CRX and C right that is the same uh, path which you have mentioned okay so here they uh, here they will say you like what exactly that component will uh, do okay so as it clearly states what it does is it will make sure all this uh, whatever you are entering here right whatever fields you are entering they are of same width okay they are in one column and occupy the same width okay it's just to make sure that it is looking nice okay so that's the purpose of it and that's what is mentioned here so for each of the fields what it does if you have any question or doubt you can just refer to this particular documentation okay so that then inside these columns you are just adding another container okay so that you can add one more uh, component or one more one more element into it okay so in this container again you are adding these properties the actual properties whatever you are seeing here so if you see here what is the field label title okay so that field label comes up here this is the title okay and then if you see here what is the field description leave empty to use the page title okay so here if you come on to this i button so that's what you will see okay whatever you have entered in the description you will see it out here so like this whatever properties you enter here the same ones you will see it on here okay so now let's say i just wanted this title and not all others so all i need to do is i just will delete these properties and save it okay so now if i just go here and refresh this so now if I select this component and if I open the dialog box, we just see one box here. Okay, so let's say I just uh, have added it, uh, uh, hello Aditya here. And if I say done, now that hello Aditya did not get reflected here. That is because in our code, we just hard coded the hello world. We haven't taken the value what author has entered and rendered it here okay so how do we do it that will take up in our next video okay so this is all about the dialog box and how do you configure a dialog box on the custom component if you are liking the videos which i am doing please subscribe to my channel and please hit on that bell icon so that you get notified whenever i do new videos